Hello and welcome to a uh, video. And today I'm gonna be uh, saying the top five teams for um, the spring split for RLCS. Obviously, April's over, so now I can finally go on my rockery grind. Montage uh, is getting clips now, so you know. But for now, I'm gonna upload this for the first of May. Uh, so anyway, I'm just gonna quickly talk about three honorable mentions, which is Falcons, Moist, and Oxygen. They're all three of them are very good teams. They could definitely make the major, but I feel like these five are gonna be the most dominant. Number five is gonna be uh, an A giant, uh, Gen G. Why I'm putting them this low is because they haven't had as much success uh since the fall major. Uh, I feel like they definitely uh, lost some momentum during the uh, break. So that's why I feel like they won't perform again. Or maybe they will, well, shock me. Because they had the winter major loss at 8th place. So they had some time to, like, relax, like, before the event happened, well, ended. And I feel like uh, they will definitely make it to the major. And I'm pretty sure they are definitely going to be the first team to clinch their spot at Worlds in NA. But there's obviously a team in EU that's already done that. So, yeah, that's Gen G done and over with. Uh, so now time for number four, staying in NA. It's Complexity. Uh, one of the other NA giants. So why I'm so confident with Complexity it's just their last mate, like their last uh split. It was very good. I feel like they'll do good again. Obviously, Ray's ball, he was popping off. So I feel like he'll do that again. But other like CR and AJG, like just very good together. Same as like the entire team just has a lot of synergy basically. You know, they did make the uh, scary decision of moving to NA and replacing Shad with um, CRR from Guild. And they have they didn't get a lot of recognition last season. I'm pretty sure that was their team last season. But this season, they've definitely shown up a lot more. So yeah, that, they're doing really good right now. Okay, number three. This is going to be controversial, but it's a not, it's the last NA giant. Uh, everyone knows it's FaZe Clan. So people expect me to put FaZe Clan higher because they came second in the Winter Major. But I'm definitely not doing that because of one roster move that happened. But anyway, first killer, one of the not the most mechanical player in the world right now. Oh well, pro in NA at least. I don't know if he's beating some of person, but anyway, um, first kill is like really mechanical, you know, just the entire of phase, you know, Mist got the defensive MVP for Winter Major, which was de definitely deserved, uh, and Supercool is kind of like the, like, he's just there, you know, like, I don't know how to describe his role, they're all just very good together, first kill was with super cool last season the entire season pretty sure but anyway like super cool is pretty good with first killer same as miss with like the entire team just synergizes well so that's why i feel like they'll pull off another amazing um prob yeah first place in their region 100 percent all right number two finally we're moving to eu obviously and uh, look at these teams. Remove Oxygen and Moist out of here. Who would be number two? Well, people would say probably Liquid. But I feel like they're going to get third. And Vitality gets second. I'm being on awesome right now. Zen's going to crash the RLCS. I feel like he really is. Zen is one of the biggest, like topics right now and it's quite obvious why 11 and 0 on his first ever tie being in 1v1 show matches which obviously lost to the last on rule one 
and um, they just really cracked up this game, you know, like, and Alpha 54, long time pro, which is amazing as well, and Radosin as well, they, they, their entire team is super good, and I don't know if their entire team is French, but I'm pretty sure it is. But uh, Vitality, I definitely see them getting second or even winning the major. And their worst performance might just be at fourth. Um, now, number one, you guys guessed it. It's power. Nah, I I'm just kidding. It's not power. It's obviously Casey. Um, they have the uh, best player in the world right now. But Vatira, I have to admit it. Vatira is the best player in the world. Accompanied with Exotic, which is amazing as well. And Itachi. Um, cracked. He really scored three goals in less than a minute. Well, no. He tied up the uh, Spring Major series against them in theory at the lower bracket because they did face each other in the upper bracket and he scored an overtime at the end which it's hard to just shows he has the clutch factor and obviously Videra being probably the best uh goalkeeper in the game while also having absolutely amazing mechanics and one thing I like about KC like all of these other teams do but I feel like they have it best and I think they have the best confidence out of any team i don't know why but it seems like every single time they score they are just absolutely ecstatic and that boosts their confidence level up causing them to win more games so now my final prediction will kc sweep europe this time probably I'm pretty sure that uh, Vitality is definitely going to put up a challenge, same as Liquid. Um, but yeah, right now, KC and Vitality and FaZe, they are the three best teams. And Gen G and Complexity are also very good ones to work out for. So yeah, that is it, basically. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and wait for my montage soon. Goodbye.